Welcome to The Quiet Room Brought to you by the creator of Truth Well Told, Tarot Your space for relaxing music, meditation and sleep enhancement Join me on my new channel I'll leave all the details below The Quiet Room Hello Aquarius and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your May 2024 bonus reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Aquarius. I was going to do June 2024, but I uh, wasn't feeling the energy. So decided to do uh, an extra reading for May for you. So let's see what we have as a message. We have the Five of Wands. In its purest sense, it can be a conflict card. Queen of Pentacles. Four of Wands. The Hierophant. Eight of Pentacles in the immediate past. The Fool in the immediate future. Bottom two cards. We've got Judgment. Wow, and the Tower. Yeah, even bottom of the deck, I've got the Two of Cups. Is my bond between two people on the Ace of Cups. Let's see what we have as some additional messages. What do we have for Aquarius? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides, message for Aquarius. Thank you. See what we have for Aquarius for the month of May. So we have cleanse. Your body, mind and soul are urging you to take some time out for some much needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean the house or tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional and physical cleansing. We've got to have fun. Stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly? Something totally unlike you? Something just for the joy of it? It's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind and give yourself and your soul's permission to have fun. It really does balance our energy out. I'm going to pull a couple of cards. I'm going to pull two cards for Money Career. These could be additional messages to what's on the table. Just thought it would be nice to pull some messages for Money Career. Love Romance. Let's see what we have for you. Money Career first. What do we have for Aquarius? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides message for Aquarius. We've got Unclear. Money is either tight or not receiving what you expected. The answers you are seeking will remain unclear for now. Your basic needs will be met. I mean, it's a lack of clarity here. Let's pull one more card. What do we have for Aquarius, money, career? There's a few. Uh, entertainer, put yourself out there and bring out the best in you so you can get noticed. You could be drawn to careers in theatre, dancing, music or any type of entertainment. Is there a talent you could turn into money? Time to think outside the box. We have unrealistic. Your expectations in the future are unrealis unrealistic and need revision. Perhaps your vision is big and may require a plan and need more careful thought. You could be setting yourself up for failure 
If you don't set realistic financial goals, And we have beware, be prudent, things are not what they seem, careful who you talk to regarding money matters or business matters, don't make any type of financial commitments right now. Let's see what we have as a Romance Angel card for you. I'm going to pull two. What do we have for our lovely Aquarians? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. I have Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Could be about marriage. Could also be to do with um, something that affects the marriage as well. Bottom of the deck, we have Stay Optimistic About Your Love Life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So in terms of um, love, romance, relationships, Aquarius, uh, the Eight of, of Pentacles is about hard work, putting your time and energy into something, into really building something up. It's almost like you've come so far on a journey and it's um, it can be like, you know, you're working towards something, but there could well be some kind of conflict in terms of, again, the Hierophant can be about deepening a commitment, deepening a relationship in some way whether it's to do with taking things to the next level. Again, the four of wands can be to do with home property, buying a home or property. Four of wands can be to do with family, uh, long-term, you know, it can be to do with uh, committed relationships, marriage, engagement, uh, celebratory events. Um, it can also be to do with, you know, uh, children or, you know, wanting uh, a child or pregnancy in some way, adoption. So it's, if I feel that there is conflict. You're not seeing eye to eye. It's almost kind of like you've put time and energy into a relationship and you really have like uh, built this up and come to a point here. Queen of Pentacles, you could be dealing with the Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, male or female or the energy of the card. Um, very much also if it's your energy about self-worth, self-value, And also, what are you working towards? I mean, Queen of, of Pentacles understands what she's working towards, male or female. Um, I think that there is conflict here in terms of what you're putting time and energy into. And it's going to require a leap of faith. This is about someone moving beyond some kind of uh, comfort zone, boundary, a limitation and just doing it because that's what the circumstances demand. The fool can actually be to do with carving out a brand new path. Either, you know, this is either you or another person. There's some kind of conflict. I feel it's to do with deepening a relationship, a commitment in some way. And it's going to require a leap of faith if somebody is important to you. Because again, the two of cups and the ace of cups can be uh, a bond between two people. It's very powerful in terms of relationships, attraction, chemistry, that sense of deep bond, deep committed relationship, knowingness of the other person. You don't have to say anything and you just know each other. The Ace of Cups, it can be a new beginning. It can also be very positive in terms of pregnancy, uh, but it can actually be to do with agreeing to take a leap of faith and starting on a brand new path uh, of the cup of joy, new happiness, fulfillment, abundance, because it's time. Because someone's saying, what are we, what am I putting time and energy into if this is not going anywhere? I feel this is about the next step on the journey. This is about where are we going? And somebody wants clarification of that because they're wanting realistic goals. They're wanting to ground. They want to, to understand what's going to happen. You know, this is the energy that I'm seeing here. I think that the cleanse energy is about trying to, uh, inner conflict, external conflict, it's about trying to, to find a way to bring that sense of unity to a situation that you've not been seen eye to eye on with another person. 
And it feels like, how can we reconcile our differences and agree a way forward? It feels like if a person is really important to you and new to them, it's about taking a leap of faith and overcoming uh, limitations, you know, overcoming comfort zones, overcoming um, barriers. You know, this is the energy here. Why? Because that's a situation. It's, it's a call to action and it's a judgment call. It's about choosing wisely because there is a sense here with um, the tower. Towers can be about the potential of letting go of the old. It can be about a significant change. Knowing that a judgment call, uh, some kind of decision, some kind of wake up call, some kind of action now is needed. And it, it feels like in terms of taking the relationship forward, deepening a commitment, deepening a relationship and setting some kind of, of uh, crystal clear goals in terms of how the relationship is moving forward. But it feels like moving beyond some kind of comfort zone barrier or limitation and letting go of the old way of being, letting go of old mindsets, old perceptions, old baggage, old experiences. This is the energy of, of the tower energy and judgment in order to make some kind of significant decision, a complete change potentially an approach is needed or mindset it could well be someone said I'm never going to get married or I never want children you know or I never want to do this you know and this is the energy here the beware energy with judgment is is valid because it's about choosing wisely a tower is in the, in the energy here towers can be linked with endings as well towers can be linked with profound change and it feels like what somebody does next matters this is that sense of the crossroads and the karmic crossroads and what somebody decides next is going to matter. And it either requires a significant change in terms of mindset or perception or approach in a situation where you overcome limitations and let that go, let the old go. Or for others of you, it could well be the potential of make it or break it. I mean, this is the energy here. But I have to say a lot of new joy and happiness is here. Now, I can also say here, this can also be pregnancy. Pregnancy may well uh, bring in significant change. And that means that there is some kind of judgment call too. You know, so it's about choosing wisely. And, uh, and I feel that this is about... It feels like a giant leap of faith is needed in this situation from your end, from their end, because it's about overcoming boundaries, limitations, moving beyond, uh, you know, uh, moving beyond boundaries and just going for it is the energy here at play. But the fool is a linked with a brand new beginning, brand new chapter as well. Like I said, the, the cards are very, uh, very positively linked as well with conception and pregnancy. Uh, there are some cards on the table that can be very powerfully linked that, that questions the relationship itself because there could well be the potential of pregnancy or the potential of adoption in some way as well. This can be life-changing energy too. So that's what I'm seeing for you here, Aquarius, in terms of love, romance, relationships. I'm actually, I mean, the, the Eight of Pentacles, the additional message that I had with the Eight of Pentacles, and I feel that would likely affect uh, love, romance, relationships. The, the only energy that I was getting in terms of, of money, career, finances, is about having the balance, having the balance between work and play is having the balance between work and other areas of your life. Because it could well be uh, that, again, something positive could happen here. And again, the work and time that you're putting into something, that needs to be reevaluated and addressed because it looks like there is a new chapter opening up for you. For others of you, it could well be someone's always working and you're left, the conflict could well be that you're always left doing everything else. You have the responsibility. It's not fair. It's not. It's not balanced. It's not uh, divided. You know, uh, it might well be someone is always working hard and putting a lot of time and energy into work, but the conflict is that there has to be a healthier balance uh, because again, it could well be about the home, the family, the relationship, children, um, the needs and wants that you, you know, have as well. 
So I think it's about, um, it could well be some kind of balancing energy in terms of sorting out, again, divisions of responsibility, someone... Um, you know, if they're always burning the midnight candle and they're never at home and you're left doing everything else, there is some kind of significant choice or decision in terms of how you reconcile that and potential of, of, of bringing significant change to that. Now, like I said, it might well be things might be taken, you know, something might happen here, like I said, pregnancy, which calls into question that things have to change in terms of how long somebody is in the workplace and greater balance and... Um, and division of responsibilities and duties can be that kind of energy as well. So for some of you, that could be an issue as well that you're resolving as a point of contention and conflict in terms of, of wanting somebody to be at home more, wanting someone to uh, share the duties and responsibilities. Um, and I feel that there is an opportunity to open up a brand new because I mean it feels I mean towers can be like I said can be linked with endings as well but there's clearly a lot of love as well and there's new joy and new happiness available to you too but it's through change it's through significant change and some kind of wake-up call that opens up a brand new chapter where you liberate from everything before and that would almost be like pressing the reset button in that respect as well so there is an opportunity to overcome some kind of issue if, again, uh, too much focus was put into, again, someone's never there, they're always at work, they're always putting time and energy into work, but you're left doing everything else, there has to be some kind of healthier boundaries or balance. And there is an opportunity to almost kind of like liberate from those kind of energies and start afresh, start anew, but change has to happen, you know, and that will be the energy, it's a wake-up call. is what I have for you. So let's see what we have. I mean, the Ace of Cups, I love, is... I mean, I also want to say, if we talk about the Ace of Cups as a, as a message, because it's such a lovely card, it's self-love first and foremost. It can be new, renewed, or next-level love, romance, relationships. For some of you, it can also represent new friendships, uh, pregnancy. It can also be very positive in terms of new pets. And again, even if we underestimate pets, don't we? We underestimate the meaning of pets as well. Again, if something significant ha happened and you weren't sure that you were ready for a, a new pet, I mean, it feels like there's an opportunity to to embrace that, to embrace uh, a, a new chapter, again, new connection, new pet. This, I mean, as a side message, that can be the energy here. Could be after some kind of significant change in that respect. Or you weren't sure you were ready for a new one, but the other person really wanted a, a pet. Let's see what we have as a little angel message for you. What do we have for Aquarius? Discipline. An unruly dog is a hazard to itself and others. The animal which has learned had le has learned discipline and obedience can be loyally and lovingly trusted to serve its master. It is then allowed off its lead. Through discipline comes freedom. The master you are called on to obey is your higher self. You came to earth on a mission, and only self-discipline will help you fulfil it. Tune in and ask the angels for help and support so that your life becomes happy and rewarding and divinely directed. Discipline is a key to fulfilling your destiny. So the affirmation for the month of May, self-discipline brings me freedom. Aquarius, that's what I have for you for the month of May 2024. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.